We are going to learn how to create dispersion effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. And don't just watch, follow along with me to get a better understanding. All the resources used in this tutorial is mentioned in the description. First we will cut out this man from the image. Take the object selection tool, click on select subject and there we have our selection. Now add a layer mask on it. Right click and convert it into a smart object. Now all the filter we will apply on the smart object will be adjustable. Let's also resize the image. Go to image image size set the weight 3000 pixel and height will be 2000 pixel hit ok now the dimension is all set take the move tool and move the image to the left now on the right side we have enough space to create a dispersion effect add the adjustment layer of gradient for the background set the gradient black and white hit ok style will be radial reverse the color and increase the scale value to 300% Hit OK. Drag the gradient layer to the bottom. Rename it as PG. Rename the top layer as well. Name it Man Image. Now take the brush tool. Add a layer mask on Man Image. And I'm going to use Dispersion Brush 20. The download link of this brush is mentioned in the description. Reduce its size. Zoom in. You can also use right and left bracket key to increase or decrease the size of the brush. Press X to switch it to black color and click one time. Now all the portion that is painted with black color inside the mask is temporary height. You can change the brush angle from here. Take your time in the process, whenever needed change the rotation of brush and paint over it. Now we will reduce the brush size and paint again over it to get a dynamic look. Actually we are trying to hide the crease from the right side so that it can be merged with the background. Now we are going to extend the image to the right. For that create a duplicate layer. Delete the layer mask, we don't want that. Go to filter, liquify, zoom in, take the forward warp tool, reduce the brush size and extend the image to the right. This part is important, you set the trajectory of the extension to be on the right. So each stroke will be on the right. This is looking great, hit ok. Rename this layer as Large Particles. Now press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate copy. Rename it as Small Particles. Now press Ctrl or Command J and create a duplicate copy of Large Particles and rename it as Blur Particles. These three layers are very important for the dispersion effect. It will add a really dynamic look to our effect. For now hide the top two layers. Let's work on the Large Particles. While holding Alt, add a negative mask on it. It will temporarily hide everything. And by painting white color inside the mask, we can see the content. Increase the brush size and start painting on the right side of the image. And whenever needed, change the angle of the brush as well. You can see I'm just clicking one time. And trying to distribute the space evenly for the particles. Let's increase the size a little bit more and click one time in the center. This is looking great. Let's hide this layer for now and unhide the blur particle layer. Just like how we did for the large particles, while holding ALT, add a negative layer mask on it and paint on the right side some large particles. Change the angle, paint again. Reduce the brush size and paint over the outer right of the image. Now go to filter, blur, motion blur. Set the distance to 15 pixel, hit OK. Let's unhide the large particle layer to see how it look with it. This is looking quite detailed now. Hide both layers and unhide the small particle layer. Add a negative mask on it. But this time we are not going to use this brush. Take the soft brown brush with hardness 0 and paint over the outer right part of the image. Set the blend mode to dissolve and set its opacity to 20%. Unhide rest of the layers. The image is not blending with the background so add an adjustment layer of gradient map. Change the gradient color to something red. Let's choose this one. Hit OK. Set the blend mode to overlay. Set its opacity to 20%. Now add adjustment layer of curves. Create a point in the mid. Slide it up. Then on the bottom. Adjust it until you get a good contrast for the image. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon for learning updates. Tell me your views in the comment section. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.